big time. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Goodwill st store in Burlington on New Street. Uh, it's easier to see the Tim Hortons uh, in the parking lot than it is this store. Anyway, you'll find it if you're looking for that. Here we are, just heading into the doors. It's a good sized store, not massive. It's, they've got the shelves on top of the clothing racks good good selection of uh, art hard goods ceramics glassware it's a well stocked store and usual clothing have some nicer stuff over at the cash we'll be looking at that a bit later the end caps have got some smaller artwork there's some interesting drawings or uh, at least uh, prints of, of over the years we found a number of interesting items here Not men's clothing at this point. Shoes are right there, as as you'll see. There are dressing rooms. I can't remember if they're in operation or not. I think they are. Some areas they have the shoes on top. They've, I don't, I don't think they separate the t-shirts from the short sleeve shirts in the, this particular location. So it took a little more looking to find the Hawaiian shirts if there were any. And we'll find them if we're we're looking hard enough. Yep, there, there we go. Good example. It's got a uh, floral design, two tone. Sometimes the uh, more business uh, inclined Hawaiian shirts are also found. You saw a couple of examples there. Sometimes I look at other ones because. Uh, Oh, that's another one of those with a smaller print. Not looking for that, but where's Waldo? I have to look at the upper and the lower in this case. Here's one, again in two-tone. Not a bad design. Ah, another one. This one's all arrows. The pricing is pretty good. They've got the better end of the thrift store pricing. And some that 
reminiscent of it, but that was more of a, a Jersey style. And then we're on to the hard goods. Ceramics, books, sometimes there's china. Some electrical. They have not had furniture generally at this one. There's another one that does have furniture in it usually. Some small appliances. More electronics. smaller fabrics they were whether they were towels or whatever there the suit shoes on display they're over by the cash and here's the cash area with the glass cases and the more precious items which are also behind the cash here these are also by the cash A very nice selection of footwear are the ones that you want. That's up to you to make that decision. But there's quite a bit of stuff here to look at. Reasonable set of hours. And fairly easy to get to if you can either drive or take a bus. It's up to you. Here's that they had a quite a selection of clocks analog clocks. We started off with one. And you get all these lovely clocks. There's the, the large one at the startup. They're reasonably priced for the for what they are. Uh, as you can see, there's the more precious items. I don't know if those are video games and CDs or whatever. It's up to you to figure that out. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and you can give us a subscribe and a, a like, perhaps even a tinkle on the bell. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.